Hello guys, this is Sukhada Kotak Desai from Be Educare. Welcome or welcome back to our channel for daily current affairs videos. Today we discuss the current affairs of 3rd August 2022. India's largest online herbarium database, that is Indian Virtual Herbarium, was launched by PM Narendra Modi during the 91st edition of the Makli radio broadcast program, Man Ki Baat. He shared the India's effort in the field of varied medicinal plants and herbs. He also highlighted that the India's largest online herbarium database, that is the Indian Virtual Herbarium web portal, was launched on July 1st, 2022 by the Union Minister Bupendra Yadav of the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The aim is to provide a comprehensive data on herbarium specimens regarding the floral diversity of India and other countries that are preserved in the cabinet of the herbarium building through online access. This will also help research studies and provide a valuable information for the global plant research. PM Modi launched Power Sector's Revamped Distribution Sector Scheme. On July 30, 2022, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi had participated in the grand finale of the Ujwal Bharat, Ujwal Bhavishya, Power at the Rate 2047 via video conferencing. It is a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, which was organized between 25th to 31st July 22 in all the districts of India by the Electricity Department. It was initiated by the Ministry of Power and Ministry of the New and Renewable Energy to showcase the transformation and achievements in the power sector in last eight years. PM Modi also launched the national portal for the rooftop solar. Tata Steel to manufacture first in India 180 degree rotating seats for the Vande Bharat Express trains. This is going to be launched from September 22 and is planning to spend rupees 3000 crore on the research and development by 26. These are specifically designed seats which can rotate 180 degrees and have a aircraft style passenger amenities. This is first in India kind of a supply which will be executed over 12 months starting from September 22. 5G rollout, India would become the first country to deliver indigenous 5G, says Rajiv Chandrasekhar. He also said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has increased the confidence in digital India and it is the reason that India is now amongst the leading countries and one of the first to deliver the indigenous 5G. He also said that India is the first country to deliver the indigenous 5G, which is a proud moment for India. And another important thing is that India is going with the 5G network in the 5G generation that is designed as well as built in India. Indian men's table tennis team clinches gold and defeats Singapore in Commonwealth Games 22. Indian badminton mixed team win silver medal after losing to Malaysia in the final at the Commonwealth Games 22. That's it guys. Stay connected to our channel for daily current affair videos. You can download the app from the link which is given in the description box or you can also contact on the number which you can see on your screens.